So if you get a bug bite on the train, it could be a little mosquito bite or a near-death experience. Happy writing! So I take the bus to work every single day, and a couple weeks ago it rained in LA, which is a rare event here. And uh, I got on the bus, it was pretty empty, I picked a seat towards the back, and a few minutes in I noticed this smell. It, it's not a good smell. And I start to look around, there are only about two other people there with me, and it's not coming from either of them, I'm not sure where it's coming. So I sit for a few seconds thinking about this, and then I notice my butt <laughs> is wet. <laughs> So I stand up kind of in shock and try to convince myself that it's just rainwater. That wasn't rainwater. It was definitely pee. I was sitting in a stranger's pee on the bus. Turning around is not an option at this point. It's going to take like an hour to get to work. The only thing I can do is go to Target that's close to work and get Pants. So I went to Target and got new pants, new underwear, baby wipes, and a bottle of whiskey <laughs> just to console myself because it was 8 o'clock in the morning and this is no way to start your day. It was the longest commute of my life. I was on the bus going back to my dad's house with my two sisters in San Francisco. My two sisters got off the bus when we made it to the stop, but then I got like caught behind for some reason and this man just like enters the bus and he's like shaking and like kind of falling over. He's clearly drunk and he's really, really smelly. Like I got a big whiff of him. He's coming close to me and he's still falling over and he just goes like, he just like smears his hand on my face. Like if I was a pole or something to hold on to. Holds it for like three, four seconds and just walks right by. <laughs> unfaced, completely unfaced. And I was just like, I, got off the bus and I started screaming at my sisters. I was like, give me the keys to the house. Give me the keys to the house. My sisters were cracking up. They thought it was the most hilarious thing because I am a huge germaphobe. I went into the bathroom and I took the rubbing alcohol and I rubbed it all over my face. And then I went to grab the dish soap because hand soap is not gonna clean my face enough. Took the dish soap and I washed my face with it like two times. If a drunk man is coming on the bus, and you see he's coming towards your way, run, because he might use your face to stabilize himself. I went up to San Francisco to visit one of my best friends, and we were going to the ferry building, and we decided to take the bus to get there. But before we got on the bus, we had a few mimosas. So I was like a little tipsy on this bus ride, and we were standing up holding on to like, you know, the little rope thing that you hold on to. And I had this little purse like over my shoulder, uh, wasn't really paying much attention. Then like two stops later, a ton of people got off. And after all this huge rush of people got off, this woman who had been sitting down kind of near where we were standing was like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, I think someone might have taken your wallet out of your purse. And she said it so calmly that I almost like didn't really believe her. I was like, what? And then sure enough, I like look in my purse and my wallet is not in there anymore. And she's like, that guy that's like just getting off, like about to walk off the bus took your wallet. And normally, like soberly, I think I would have just been like, well shit, what do I do? Like, I guess I don't have my wallet anymore. But because I was a little tipsy, I had this like liquid courage. I just walked right off the bus and followed this guy and I was like, hey, you stole my wallet, give it back to me. And he's like, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, what are you talking about? And then he just dropped my wallet on the ground and like ran away. And it was so weird, but I just like picked up my wallet and all of the people on the bus had totally been watching this whole thing go down. So when I got back on the bus, they were all like, yeah, like cheering for me that I got my wallet back. And then it was so weird. We just kind of like went on our way and it was sort of like nothing happened. So it's the summer after my junior year of college. I'm using public transportation every day for the first time. And I'm sitting there per the usual. I don't like to get in anyone's way, so I like tuck in my feet under the benches. Great idea. And I feel something tickle my ankle and I look down and I see like a mosquito flying away. I'm like, oh great, I got a mosquito bite. For the next couple days, I don't feel too well, but I didn't overthink it. Suddenly on the second night, as I'm going to bed, I put my phone on my nightstand and right before I put my phone down, I have lockjaw. And then I start shaking violently. And then next thing I know, I'm projectile vomiting into the trash can on my walls everywhere and I pass out. The next thing I know, I wake up to my 4 a.m. alarm. I go to work. I don't overthink it because for some 
reason I feel good again. So I go to my boss, casually tell him, I'm not feeling too well. Maybe it's because of this mosquito bite I got a couple days ago. And he looks at me and he says, Jasmine, that's not a mosquito bite you need to go to urgent care and get that checked out. And good thing, because I go to urgent care, the nurse sits me down and she goes, you've been bitten by a brown recluse spider. One of the most poisoned spiders in the country. What? And I was loaded up on antibiotics and I had a great night with my friends on FaceTime. So yeah, public transportation is fun or, or deadly.